Hello, my name's Sue and I thought today we could talk about the menopause. It's something a lot of people talk about, but not everybody necessarily understands what it is. It's the time of life when a woman who hasn't had a hysterectomy finally stops having her monthly periods. And this occurs because the ovaries finally stop functioning and in effect run out of eggs. So the monthly period stops and hormone levels change. Now for most women, this is a natural life event, but sometimes menopause occurs for other reasons. For example, if a woman needs to have her ovaries removed, we call that surgical menopause. Some women go through menopause because they have had chemotherapy for their particular disease, or other women might have radiotherapy to the pelvis and that will cause their ovaries to fail. The average age of menopause is 51 years. Women might experience an earlier menopause if they are a smoker, have had a hysterectomy, or live at high altitude. One in 10 women will experience menopause before the age of 45. If a woman goes through menopause earlier than that, before the age of 40, we classify that as premature ovarian insufficiency. And there are a number of causes of that. Menopausal symptoms occur when a woman's hormones start to change. So this means some women can even have symptoms before their monthly period stops. The first sign of the changing hormone levels is your periods becoming either closer together or further apart. You might notice that they become heavier or that they become lighter. Around this time, you might start experiencing some hot flushes or night sweats. Most commonly, women don't start to experience the hot flushes and sweats until the time their periods have stopped. This is because when the menstrual bleeding stops, your estrogen levels have plummeted dramatically. It is the fall in estrogen that will bring on most menopausal symptoms. Hot flushes and night sweats are the ones that you will most commonly hear about in terms of menopause. These can be mild or they can be really severe and bothersome. Some women will experience frequent severe hot flushes during the day and not have a problem at night. And for other women, it's the reverse. So they will have hot flushes at night, disturbing their sleep. These can be so bad that women describe sometimes being drenched in sweat and having to change their bed clothes. But on the other hand, some women never experience a hot flush at all. Very few women get through the menopause unscathed, however. So what are the other symptoms? Well, you might experience sleep disturbance without actually having hot flushes and night sweats. We do in fact know that joint pain is a common menopausal symptom. Symptoms women commonly experience and you may have noticed is a heightened increase in anxiety. So something that normally never bothered you starts to become overwhelming. You might have had friends or you yourself have noticed a mood change. So this might be in the form of becoming upset easily, very teary, or angry when you would never have been angry before. Again, there could be other reasons for this, but commonly this is due to the hormonal change. After estrogen levels have been low for a little while, it's not uncommon to experience vaginal dryness. So this can cause some vaginal discomfort, but most particularly, it can make sexual activity uncomfortable or even painful. Along with this, you might have noticed that you are getting up at night to pass urine, or sometimes even having some discomfort in your bladder and having to rush to the toilet more quickly. Again, this is often due to estrogen deficiency, and it is something that can easily be managed. I bet you, like many women, want to know how long these symptoms are going to last. Well, that's a tricky question. Most women, as I said, will experience at least some symptoms. And many women will have symptoms that last for five to 10 years. We know
know that about 50% of women in their early 60s are still having sun hot flushes. And for about 10% of these women, they are severe. Unfortunately, neither I nor any other doctor can tell you how long your symptoms are likely to last. But certainly, if they're really bothering you, you should do something about them. So there are some take home messages from what we have talked about today. Firstly, menopause will affect every woman. Some will experience symptoms and some won't. Some will experience very bothersome symptoms. If you have symptoms that severely bother you, it is really important that you seek out a healthcare professional with whom you can speak to about these. Management of these symptoms will help you optimize your health and your quality of life. In addition to menopause causing symptoms, you may be curious to know how else menopause might affect your body. Perhaps we can talk about that next.